show you my three barrel exercise. I'll do it at the walk first and then I'll take it into the trot. And so what you're going to do is just set up your barrels in a small pattern in your round pin or in an arena. And then what you're going to start first is you're just going to try to do um, nice equal circles around the barrel. And like here, since I'm going left, I'm going to use left rein, left leg at the rib cage. And I want her just to do an even circle around the barrel. And then the one thing for you to focus on to know that you're staying at the proper distance from the barrels is make sure that barrel's about your back cinch or your horse's flank. Um, if you, um, or you know, if it's at their shoulder, then you're going to come into the barrel. You won't have a pretty circle. So just keep that barrel as you do these. Think of it. Keep that barrel at your back cinch. And then you're going to want to go to the other barrel. And this one is right. So I'm going to do a right leg, right rein. And then I'm going to make sure that barrel stays right at my back cinch. And then um, my rule with these, what I'm looking for is for that horse to keep her body bent in that arc around the barrel. And I want her to be soft through the whole circle. So if your horse is going to counter bend and shoulder into the barrel or cut into the barrel like this, I'm making her do it and mess up. You're not ready to switch directions. Keep her, keep your horse here keep her soft and bent around that barrel. Then when your circle's nice, it's even, it's pretty, go ahead and go to the next barrel. And then you're going to notice as you make those transitions from barrel to barrel, your horse is going to wiggle and their head might come up and they might lose that softness through those turns. But that's okay. That's why we're here to fix, to fix this, soften our horse. So you'll see as I switch from right to left, see how my horse kind of slowed down and did it keep that dry through the turn? That's one thing over time that will improve. So sometimes I do one circle around them, sometimes I'll do five. You may have to do ten circles around it before your horse gets softer, but just um, go with how your horse feels. And then when I am ready to do a roll back into the barrel, which will help your horse think and it's going to help it focus and pay attention to its feet and learn to roll on its hocks. Right now, I'm going to the right with right rein and right leg. When I get ready to do that roll back, I'm gonna lift my right hand so that I lift her head into the barrel, and then I'm gonna use left leg to bring her around. And if she didn't want to roll back, she's gonna run into the barrel. So the barrel is actually there almost like a wall to get that horse to turn. So if I wanna go left, left rein, right leg, there. And that barrel is going to make your horse shorten up and it's going to make it change directions. And then what I'm also going to do uh, is really mix it up. Like I might do a circle here and then I might switch. I might go to the right now. Then I'm going to do a roll back. Then I'm going to switch barrels. I'm going to keep mixing it up for my horse. If your horse gets bored or looks around and uh, stops thinking and around a few other horses, um, then go ahead and just do things a little quicker. Roll back a little, a little more often. Do more figure eights. And you'll notice that barrel is going to help you a lot to help those rollbacks start coming.
was a better transition there. Then you can also start doing your roll back, so left rein, right leg. There. See how she wanted to get stiff? So we're just going to keep working through here once she softens. Then I'll do a roll back. She kind of wanted to, to fall in on that one. Well, I'm going to use that right rein, right leg, pick her up, yeah. keep her doing a nice circle. There, left rein, left leg. And then if they slow down or break to the walk, then go ahead and use both of your legs to squeeze them back into the trot. Once they are trotting, though, I only use my inside leg because I'm looking for that rib cage to bend to the inside. So right rein, right leg. And roll back. And the other thing is, see how this horse uh, loses her forward through those rollbacks. So she's going to get more athletic, a handier when she can push and drive out of those turns better. And then I've been doing all this in a sitting trot. Um, this is a pretty smooth little horse. <laughs> kind of lets you, but if your horse is rougher riding, you can also do a posting trot if you need to. And then if you're going to do a posting trot, when you go to do your rollbacks, just sit down, bring them through that turn, and go ahead and post again with them. So you're going to sit down that turn. It also get your horse really right in your seat. So when you sit, they're ready to turn. There. See how this horse still gets kind of stiff coming out of those roll backs? We've been doing this exercise now for um, on and off for about a week and a half. inside, use an inside leg, inside rein. The very last one is to go ahead and counter bend this horse through some turns, which is, I'm going to go left, but I'm going to use my right rein and my right leg. And you can go all the way around the outside of these. If your horse is really stiff and it has trouble moving off your outside leg, um, when they get a little more responsive, you can do smaller circles. If I change directions, now it's left rein, left leg. And then when I come back through the middle, I'm going to switch to right rein, right leg. Just like, you know, picking your barrel horse up so it doesn't drop into the turns, but eventually this really translates into a ton of uh, 
control of those shoulders, and it will help your horse neck ring because they're coming off that outside rein. Left rein, left rein. And then you can take these counter bends into little bending circles. So see how I can counter bend this horse off left rein, left leg. Let him come around and stay left. Now I can turn left around this barrel. See how she falls in on me? Oh, you'll have a little work to do. And then I can do right leg, right rein. See how I can pick her up and counter bend. Then I can do a little circle. Put a roll back in there. We'll do a little more counter bending. And we'll go to the right here. Do a little roll back. give you some ideas on what to do with your horse.